Hi everyone, today I wanted to speak to you on some of the Vince Camuto fragrances. And um, Vince Camuto here, the first one is the original. This one's just called Vince Camuto. And this one has a reddish bow, reddish burgundy bow. This one was released back in 2011. And the fragrance notes on this one are Osmanthus, Rum, Rose, Jasmine, and Leather. So this one here is probably, I feel that it's the strongest one from all. And this one here is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So right away, I feel like you can pick up Rose. And this one here is just a really nice fragrance. This one might be a little mature compared to all of the rest, all of the flankers. And this one is probably the one that will last the longest. This is um, probably one of my favorites. It's not the, it's not my favorite from all the Vince Camuto fragrances here, but it's probably maybe my second or third. Um, this one will definitely last you a very long time. When I wear this one, I feel that it lasts on me about five to six hours, um, probably six. And uh, I really do like this one. I get compliments on it. And I feel like it's strong, but it's not too strong where it's going to give you a headache. But it definitely is strong compared to the other ones I want to mention to you today. Um, like I said, this is the original and the rest that I'm going to mention are the flankers. Uh, from this line so the next one I'm going to mention is this one here and it has a pinkish bow this one is Vince Camuto Fiori so this one here is my favorite from the entire collection this one is by the way all of these are 3.4 ounce bottles in case you're wondering and um, they're all Let's see, they're all, uh, this one's an Eau de Perfume, Eau de Perfume, and I'm going to give you the notes on this one. This is um, Pink Grapefruit, White Peach, Nectar, Pear, Jasmine, Freesia, Sheer Iris, Cedarwood, Amber, Musk, and Rich Sandalwood. So this one here is such a beautiful fragrance, and I think this is my favorite for sure from all of these. This one is light, beautiful, feminine. It reminds me so much of Chanel Chance Lutender and it's the one in the pinkish bottle. Kind of like this color, the, the juice. And it reminds me so much of it. I believe it's a really good dupe for it. It won't last as long but it's definitely, definitely such a good dupe for it. This one, I right away, I smell just like beautiful fragrance, feminine, airy. I just love this one in general. It's such a beautiful fragrance. And I say that if you're going to go for any of these, I would probably say go for Fiori. If you like Chanel Chance, the tender. Um, like I said, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I've received so many compliments on this one. Um, just different different uh, occasions I've received compliments at work at I went out with friends and this one here if you can see yes this one is a beautiful fragrance definitely recommend this one um I think this lasts about I would say maybe about four to five hours probably five um, but I always spray it on my skin and on my clothes and I can say that definitely definitely would repurchase this because it's such a beautiful fragrance and if you're looking for something um, along the lines of Chanel Chance the tender this would be a good option it's a lot more affordable than that and the next one I'm going to speak on is Vince Camuto Amore and this is the one with the, it looks like a kind of reddish 
reddish bow. It's a little bit lighter than the original. And the notes on this one are bergamot, passion fruit, blush, orchids, fresh freesia, floating lo lotus, silky sandalwood, cashmere accord, musk, and amber. So this one here I really do like. This is probably maybe my second favorite from the collection. This one's a beautiful fragrance as well. You can see here. Yes, this is more of, um, I feel like this one's maybe a little bit more fruity. Um, in my opinion, this smells a little more fruity. It probably that's about the same as a Fiori, but if you spray on your clothes, it smells a lot stronger and it will last you longer, just with any other fragrance. But this one, I like to wear just if I'm out on a regular day, just running errands or um, so if I'm gonna go out for lunch, things of that nature, I'll probably go ahead and reach something like this. It's it's a very um, it's a everyday fragrance that you can just pretty much just wear. I love this fragrance, it's really nice. And by the way, um, on a lot of these, I have the actual travel spray, so you might see that um, they're a little bit full, which I actually just purchased a couple of these, but the other ones I pretty much have, um, I have the uh, travel spray, so I've been using that instead of the bottle. The one that I've used probably the most is Vince Kumoto Fury. Okay, and the next bottle I'm going to speak to you on is Vince Camuto, Bella. This is the one with the orange bow. And this is really beautiful. I like all of these fragrances, of course. Well, with the exception of one, which I'll get to. Um, this one, the notes are Italian bergamot, peach nectar, Pear, lemon, strawberry flower, nectarine blossoms, jasmine, musk, and white amber. Also sandalwood and blonde woods. So this is a nice fragrance. Also for an everyday. It's beautiful. This one here. I like to wear when I'm same thing going out with friends everyday fragrance I feel like it's it's not strong to where it's gonna give you or anyone around you a headache so it's something that's wearable it's an everyday fragrance it's fresh more flowery I would say flowery and a little bit fruity feminine but I pick a little bit more of the flowers in this one compared to the others. Yes, I pick up a little bit of the of the nectar. It's a really, really beautiful fragrance though. I love this one as well. This one's also an Eau de Parfum. So far they've all been um, Eau de Parfums. And this one is Probably right behind Amori, as far as my favorites. Um, definitely, I think I would repurchase this if I was to finish the bottle, but I do have quite a few, so not sure when that's going to happen. But I would recommend this one. And the next one is Capri, Vince Camuto. And this is the blue bottle with the blue bow. It has a silver top here. They all have the same bottle, just different colors. So this one, the notes are citrus, peach blossom, violet flowers, musk, and vanilla. So for this one, it's more like of a, like a breeze. To see it kind of, to me it's kind of more like a, a little bit aquatic. 
And to be honest, when I first smelled this one at, I think it was at Ulta when I smelled it a couple years ago, I didn't really like it. But I give it another shot, and then the second time I tried it, I actually liked it. So I went ahead and picked this up. I actually picked this up maybe a few months ago for a really good price. And I really, really do like this. This is probably now one of my favorites as well. It's a really nice fragrance. I definitely like this one. Um, like I said, it's a little more aquatic in my opinion. Maybe that's why it's blue. But here's the atomizer. Yes, so it smells a little a little fruity, a little breezy. Um, definitely beautiful fragrance. I would recommend this one for sure. Like I said, when I first tried it, I didn't really care for it much. But after I gave it another shot, I actually liked it. So who knows, you might end up enjoying this one. But um, just in general, I do suggest that you go ahead and just smell the fragrances yourself. Um, because I wouldn't recommend for you just to blind buy them because some of them might not be for you. But if anything for any of these, I feel that maybe Fiori would probably be the most safe blind buy. But this one is really beautiful, as mentioned. Um, I would definitely, definitely repurchase this one. It's such a very nice fragrance. I feel like it's, um, it's breezy, it's beautiful, it's a little fruity. It's um, a little bit flowery, but I mostly pick up like more of a breezy, fruity, fresh scent. It's beautiful, really, really nice fragrance. And the last one I'm going to speak on is... Divina Vince Camuto. So this one is the yellow one. You can see it has yellow juice and it has a yellow yellow bow. And with this one, the notes are black currant, outer heights, violet leaves, mimosa blossom, sunflower, sandalwood, and musk. So this one here, I don't really like as much as the rest. Um, this one I feel that it's just, let's see if you can see. It's a little, a little flowery, but it kind of smells in a way, maybe with a little mixture of freshness, but I wouldn't say it's a nice fresh in my opinion. So, I don't know if you guys have smelled this, but to me, um, this was actually a blind buy, by the way. <laughs> this one I did a blind buy. And to me, it smells like air freshener. Maybe even like, uh, I don't know, it's <laughs> something that you spray, like an air freshener for the restroom. I'm not sure if it's just me, but that's kind of what I pick up. I, I'm not really into this one. It's not one of my favorites. Um, I would not repurchase this again, and um, I can say you definitely, in my opinion, can skip out on this one. This one is just, it's just an okay fragrance. Um, I probably wouldn't wear this out. I tried wearing it in the warm weather to see if it would help, to see if it was something that I could wear. But I don't know. It's I'm picking up a little bit of. A little bit of flowers and maybe a little bit citrusy, even though it doesn't really mention that, but not really a fragrance that I would pick up again. Um, this one is also an Eau de Perfume, which all of them are. Um, and like I said, I would not recommend this one again. I wouldn't purchase it. I would definitely say you can skip out on this one. But from all my fragrances here, I definitely say if you're going to pick up one of these, I would highly recommend um, Vince Camuto Fiori. This one is such a beautiful fragrance. I, like I said, I would purchase this again and again and again. Um, this one I would say is probably my favorite. This is kind of a tie. Amore and Bella. So I would say maybe like this. Um, but I wouldn't pick up Divina. I mean, if you guys do like it, I mean, uh, I'm not trying to offend anybody. 
but for me it didn't work out so it's not something that I would repurchase and that will be it for today guys thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later bye